Um, uh, let's start off with your intention to raise around 7 billion Kenyan shillings, uh, as I mentioned, through an initial public offering. It's subject to regulatory approval. When do you hope to have clarity on the matter? Thank you very much. As you have correctly put it, British American Investments Company Limited is going to list on the Nairobi Stock Exchange subject to approval by the Capital Markets Authority. The objective of this IPO or listing is to raise money to enable the company expand its operations both in Kenya and in the East African region. Mm. Uh, before we get into the expand, expansion uh, strategies going forward, tell us why you're heading on this uh, particular path in terms of raising capital and you, you've chosen uh, the route of an IPO. Uh, were you uh, taking into consideration any other options for raising cash? Of course we did, and uh, there are several options uh, other than through the IPO route. One option would have been to get the direct the shareholders of the company to inject capital, but we thought that uh, the public listing IPO route was the most economically sensible. This group has been operating in Kenya since 1965, mm -hmm. and it's been supported by Kenyans, and Kenyans are very, very supportive of this organization. And the shareholders and the management felt that uh, the Kenyan investor and the Kenyan in, you know, consumer who has supported this company over the last 46 years mm -hmm. needed to share and participate in the success of this company. Mm -hmm. And the best way was through an IPO. Mm -hmm. So yes, we could have raised money through uh, shareholders investing more money through a rights issue or through preemptive rights, but we did feel that uh, it was time the yeah. Kenyan uh, community that has supported this company for mm. all this time needed to share in the success of the organization. You are hoping that the IPO is going to come to an end, will be completed by June. Again, it's got to do with regulatory approval. Tell us a little bit about what the Capital Markets Authority, some of the comments or perhaps the signals that you've gotten from them and whether they are willing to allow this to go through. Well, we have made our initial contact with the Capital Markets Authority to alert them about uh, this project. They have expressed support, subject of course to our lodging all the necessary documents. Work has already started in terms of appointing the transaction advisors who are supposed to assist the company comply and we are very optimistic that uh, yeah. we will be able to meet that deadline. Well, let's touch on the funds, as you mentioned, will be used for expansion into local and regional um, territories. You have recently uh, started operations in Uganda. You are looking to widen your footprint even further. Tell us a little bit about how the funds are going to be used and if you could unpack the 7 billion shillings uh, that you are going to, or well, you're hoping to raise, and how that will then be spread across the region. First of all, the 7 billion shillings we have talked about is not cast in stone. Mm. The actual funds are subject to the approval of the board and uh, the shareholders. But based on the projects that uh, we have in mind, we think 7 billion shillings is more or less a ballpark figure. Mm. What do we want to do with these funds? First, as we correctly observed, we have just recently entered Uganda. The East African community is a very big market with 126 million people. And if we take into account the potential entry of Southern Sudan, this will be a very huge market. So we intend to use these funds to expand our operations, both insurance and asset management into all these countries. And in addition to all that, we have operations, very strong operations in Kenya, where we feel and believe the potential is enormous. So over and above regional expansion, yeah. we are also looking to organic growth in Kenya, where we have very ambitious plans on how to grow this business. Mm. Well, at yeah. the same time, sorry, at the same time, we have other initiatives like property development, which is a very lucrative sector. And we feel that uh, by also venturing to that sector, we will be able to First of all, provide affordable housing for Kenyans, which is in very big demand, and at the same time, increase the returns to shareholders. You're in a very lucrative space, particularly when it comes to insurance. Uh, we know that uh, insurance is getting a lot of attention. Tell us a little bit about your strategies there, and obviously how you're going to cater across the board uh, through various uh, regions and also through various needs uh, from the people in East Africa. 
Thank you. I insurance as part of the financial services sector in this part of the world uh, doesn't enjoy very high penetration ratios. So the demand for this product is high and we feel that over and above the success we have achieved, we can play a big role in enhancing penetration and we see it as our responsibility to develop products that uh, are in line with the needs of the market and uh, these products span an entire spectrum of uh, insurance services, life, non-life and over and above insurance of course, investment products, unit trusts and wealth management products. So a very wide scope of uh, products that uh, we would like to bring to this market mm. in addition to creating the necessary awareness. Uh, very, just very quickly, looking at your asset management uh, side of things as well in terms of the CMA um, and the fact that they've placed uh, new regulations as well, tell us a little bit about that industry and whether everything is on track and you are in fact uh, part of the regulatory side of things as well. Yes, our asset management company is regulated by the Capital Markets Authority. We sell products unit trusts and uh, discretionary portfolio management and all these products are regulated yeah. by the Capital Markets Authority and of course the Retirement Benefits Authority with regard to pension yeah. products. Yeah. And as part of the approvals we are seeking, it will also include getting approval then from the Capital Markets Authority with regard to the asset management business. This industry is relatively new in this country but we have seen a very rapid growth in this market yeah. on uh, the investment products, unit trusts, and the Retirement Benefits Authority, together with the Capital Markets Authority, have played a very big role yeah. in sensitizing Kenyans on the need and importance of these products, particularly in creating wealth yeah. and helping people to provide for their retirement. F fantastic. Mr. Waregi, thank you so much. Unfortunately, we have to leave it there, but great to have you on Power Lunch.